fellow book dragons and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Joanna and I love to talk about books on this channel, specifically fantasy books. And today I am finally here with my January TBR. <music> So I really wanted to have this up much, much sooner. I wanted to have this up at the end of 2022 slash at the very beginning of 2023. As it stands, I got the flu at the end on New Year's Eve. I got it on New Year's Eve and I was knocked out for over a week. I'm finally starting to feel better. I still sound a bit sick, I think, at least I think. And so I apologize about that, but I did not want to delay the filming of this video any longer because soon there was no point in filming a January TBR anymore. And so I thought, you know what? I sound a bit better. I feel okay. Let's film this video. Now, if you're not new here, you may know that I am a little bit notorious for creating these gigantic TBRs for myself that I could never actually read. And so what I've decided to do in 2023 is to create TBRs of five to six books, depending on how big the books are that are actually on my TBR, and to focus on those. And those are then my main priority. And if I change my mind on them, it's fine. But if I accomplish them and I want to read something else, I can just mood read for the rest of the month. Because to be honest, I'm a mood reader anyway. I create these TBRs more as like options of things that I may or may not pick up in that given month, but it's never set in stone. And I don't care if I deviate from my TBRs. So why not pick a few books where I know these are going to be my main focus and uh, these are kind of like buddy reads that are already scheduled or anything like oh stuff like that and then for the rest we'll just see what happens so that is what I decided to do and that is what I'm doing today as we're already a few days into the month I know that I've already read some of these I've started some of these I've read books that are not on this TBR but that one I will leave for the wrap-up and something that I want to do in the year of 2023 is create reading vlogs and or weekly updates. I love the format of weekly updates where you just sit down and you talk about what you've read. I love that, I find it super cozy, but I do love vlogs as well because you get a bit of the life of the creator. And for myself, I get to then look back on these things and have the memories of like what I did, like if I have B-roll of a trip or something like that, you know? Uh, so I am toying with either or and we'll see what happens. So if you have a preference for just weekly updates or reading vlogs, let me know in the comments down below. I would actually really, really appreciate that. Now that the housekeeping is out of the way, let's start with my TBR. The first book is one that I've already read and uh, it was my main priority of the month. It was the first thing I picked up. I was really ill on January 1st, but on January 2nd was the first day that I could read and I picked it up and I read 250 pages of it in one day. And that is of course, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Now, if you don't know, I am one of the co-hosts of the A Song of Ice and Fire 2023 re slash re read along, whatever that is called, of the big read along that's being hosted. I am one of the co-hosts alongside with the other Joanna and with Yuli and Alex and Scott and of course I'll leave everyone's channels linked down below. We have an announcement video where we talk about the buddy read slash read along for this and what we're doing is we're kind of having it at it's almost a month per book. We have a schedule that we have uh, sh I've shared it already on my community tab for when the live shows will be. The live show for A Game of Thrones is on February 4th on Joanna's channel. So if you want to join us, you still have plenty of time to read this book uh, and to join us for the chat. There will be two live shows per book. One of us is all, one of the live shows is always going to be the five of us talking about the book. And then for the secondary live show, we will have special guests to discuss different topics, characters, etc. So this was my main priority for the month of January. I'm very happy to say that I've already read it, but I will not be talking about it here, of course. I will talk about it in my wrap up slash maybe do a review or something like that, and definitely in that live show. So A Game of Thrones, first book on my TBR that is already read. Next up, I have another buddy read, and this book I am currently reading, and that is Trader's Blade by Sebastian de Castell. This is a buddy read with my friend Rick, and he has a bookstagram, and I will link that one linked in the description as well if you want to check it out. Very aesthetic. If you love A Song of Ice and Fire, you need to go follow him because that's his favorite series. You, I think you guess how we became friends. Uh, and we were looking for a series to buddy read for 2023. And we both decided that I've had this on my shelves for years now. The whole series. I bought the whole quartet. And he just finished the other series by this author. So he was really in the mood to jump into this. And so this is how we decided to pick 
the Grey Coat series. Now I am currently, like I said, 170 pages in this into this book and I'm really enjoying it. And we decided that we, in the spirit of marathoning series, we would also read A Night's Shadow by Sebastian de Castell in the month of January. So this book is quite bigger. Like if you look at them, yeah, the audiobook of this is 12 hours, the other book of this is 20 hours. So this one is quite longer, but these two are the books that we're going to be body reading in the month of January and then moving on with the last two books in the series in the month of February to close out the series. See, like tackling series is one of my main goals. It's like the only goal I have for the year is to binge series. Of course, if I don't like it, then I can DNF a series in the middle, but to at least attempt bin a binging so I don't always have to be rereading things. So Trader's Blade and Night's Shadow are the next two books on my January TBR. The final buddy read that I have that we haven't really said anything about a date or anything but I've been buddy reading The Realm of the Elderlings with my friend Sophia of course again channel description you got it and we are on the second book in the Tiny Man trilogy Golden Fool so that is the next book that we are supposed to be picking up I am so excited to get to this but I am a bit okay I'm not super nervous about this one because I heard people say Fool's Errand and Fool's Fate are devastating I've already read Fool's Errand so half of the devastation has already happened. And then Golden Fool, nobody says that this one breaks your heart. So I should be okay going into this one. Um, but yeah, I did need a little bit of a break after Fool's Errand. I'm not gonna lie, that book traumatized me. So Golden Fool is the next book in the Realm of the Elderlings uh, where I'm at with Sophia. And that is then the next book to pick up. And then th the final book, the final official book, but this book kind of means two books. So really there's six books on this TBR, right? Yeah, that's that was four. So I have two more books that I really want to get to. The next one is The Lost Metal by Brandon Sanderson. This is the final book in Mistborn Era 2. Mistborn Era 1 is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. I really, really enjoyed reading Mistborn Era 2 as well. And this one came out at the end of last year, but I wasn't caught up with Elantris and I really wanted to read Elantris before getting into this one so now i can get into this one and read it and i'm very very much looking forward to this this is going to be one of my next priorities uh to read because these books are fun and i've heard that this one is extremely fast paced which will be a nice change of pace from the books that i've been reading that are a bit slower well trader's blade is pretty fast but i mean um hob and martin are not the fastest paced books so i'm very excited to get to this and to see how this era concludes because I'm very curious. And of course, I almost forgot because I don't own it physically yet. And that is, of course, Secret Project 1 by Brandon Sanderson. I know that everybody who's backed the Kickstarter has already read this, except for me. I backed the Kickstarter, I wanted to read this on January 1st, but then I was sick, and then I started reading Game of Thrones, and that one took over my life. And then Sophia told me I needed to read The Lost Metal before I read Secret Project 1, so here we are. I will read The Lost Metal and then read Secret Project 1. I literally have no idea what this is about, and I want to keep it that way, so I'm gonna just stay away from the internet for a bit until I've read it. So that is my January official TBR. Um, like I said, should be very manageable. Some of these books are pretty big, um, but I want to read them. There's other books that I mean, I've read some romances. I sprinkle in some romances here and there as palette cleansers. I've been really getting into nonfiction slash memoirs, more like it, and podcasts. So I've been listening to a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, I do really want to read Prince Harry's books that coming out. So I'm definitely going to be listening to that. I guess I could add that to this TBR, but it's not a very official thing that I'm going to do. I'm just going to see where the mood strikes for anything else that I'd want to pick up in the month of January. But this is my official TBR. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these do i need to prepare emotionally for okay everybody who has read tawny man and who did me freaking dirty with fool's errands please warn me if i need to be emotionally prepared for golden fool or not okay like that's all i want to know J just give me a heads up do i need do i need to prepare myself i know i need to fulfill that for fool's fate but for golden fool let me know and let me know if you prefer weekly reading vlogs or weekly reading updates um and yeah that is going to be it for me today if you just want to let me know that you're here leave of course a dragon emoji and until next time happy reading bye guys